everyone, so today I'm covering a topic that I have not covered in a very, very long time. Product empties, aka things I have used up till the very last drop. I used to do product empties videos a lot, probably around a year or two ago, but it got to the point where I was just showing shampoos and conditions that I'd used up along with many bottles of Bioderma, so I've given it a long time this time. It's definitely been a few months I've been collecting all of these things, and there is not a bottle of Bioderma in sight. I'm not quite sure how that one happened, but I'm going to get started with hair care. And actually, there are only three things that I've used up. This shows that I have been being a floozy and using lots of different things and then not actually using up one thing till the very last drop. Aside from these three, the first one is the Bumble and Bumble Sunday Shampoo. Love it. This is probably my third or fourth bottle of this, maybe even fifth. Absolutely adore this stuff. I've actually already repurchased another bottle. This stuff is amazing for when you want your hair to be super, super clean. It's not actually my daily shampoo and conditioner at the moment. I have got another one that I'm using. That's coming up in a video very soon. I think next week I'm going to do a little hair care 101. Nothing cleans like it. It's my favourite clarifying shampoo. Conditioner wise, I used up this. It's from Philip Kingsley and it is their no scent, no colour conditioner. Like like it, don't love it. I'm a bit mm, with conditioners. There's a few that I really, really like and would repurchase, but most of the time I enjoy them. They're nice, but I wouldn't rush out to purchase this again. In fact, thinking about it, it was very light. It definitely wasn't very heavy, so if you've got quite greasy hair, this might be a good one for you. Didn't rock my world though. This one does rock my world. The Obey Dry Texturizing Spray. I've gone through another miniature of this. I don't want to count how many of these I've been through because they are ridiculously expensive for what they are. They are a texture kind of volumizing spray that just gives your hair that matte, lived in, Alexa Chung effect. Bloody love it. I'm thinking body next, and there's a shed load of stuff here. First up, Therapy Himalayan Detox Sorts. Completely all gone. Still smells absolutely incredible. I will definitely be repurchasing these. At the moment I'm going through my Neil's Yard lavender bath sorts which are very very lovely but sometimes I just feel like I need these in my life. They are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful especially when you've been doing a lot of exercising or working out or you're just very tired or stressed. A bath in this stuff works wonders. I do actually think that it might be magic. Another thing is this from Zoya and it is their 3 in 1 formula remove nail polish remover. Got this from Whole Foods and I'm not going to lie, I kind of bought it for the, uh, the pump. It's great. This will be a very good test of whether there's some left in there. But you just pump that down. Oh, yep. Yeah, oh, yep. Definitely still a tiny bit left. Without messing up my manicure, you basically get your cotton pad, push it down on the top, and then your cotton pad just gets the perfect amount of nail polish on it. Absolutely love it. The formula was really nice, but would I repurchase it again? Not 100% sure. We'll definitely be keeping the bottle though, and we'll just refill it with whatever nail polish remover I need to use next. 10 Skin Liquid. This stuff is very, very good. I have already repurchased a bottle and have continued to use it because I think it is fabulous. Without getting into too much detail here, if you are scared to wax like me, you're a bit of a wimp, you're a waxing wimp, I'm okay, I can admit it, and you shave things, then you use this afterwards, it's almost like aftershave, <laughs> and you don't end up with ingrown hairs. It is amazing. But you just dab this on afterwards, put it on a cotton pad, throw it on wherever you so wish, and you don't get ingrown hairs. Genius. Now this stuff was good. The Vita Liberata Capture Light Opaque Skin Perfecting Illuminizer in Latte Light. I will definitely be picking this up again. This is like a new and improved version of the Cordelie Divine Legs, which I love, especially loved last year. This is like this year's oomphed up, zooped up version. It is great. It's very much it's almost makeup for your limbs as well as a tanner. So it just deposits that nice tint of colour all over while also covering up bruises or marks you might have on your leg. So it's just a good all rounder. Let's talk about feet for a second because I actually used up two foot favourites and they're both from Margaret Dabs, which is an amazing, amazing range. I picked both of these up as part of a little trial set which had the whole range in in miniature size and I loved everything in there but my two favourites I've obviously used up first and it is the exfoliating foot mousse which I've already repurchased and got a much bigger 
thing of smells good yep that is all gone and this is amazing in terms of giving your feet a good scrub if you don't feel like using a foot file but also it's got a nice oil to it which leaves your skin feeling really nourished afterwards and then this was the hydrating foot soak which is basically like fancy bubble bath for your feet but it smelled so good and felt really nice it was a very good combination using these two together haven't repurchased this one yet kind of sitting on it but I think it's gonna happen in the future oh yes and a perfume. Stella by Stella McCartney. Love this, desperately need to repurchase it because it is just lovely. It's a good all-rounder fragrance. I've spoken about it quite a few times. If you were a fan of CK Wong when you were younger, you will like this one. It's like the more slightly floral, slightly more sophisticated version of that. It's great stuff and I've yet to bump into someone who didn't like the smell of this. Whenever I put it on, I just feel very fresh and clean. Moving on to skincare bits and I used up this the other day. I'd already planned to film this video and then this squirted its last measly squirt and I thought, damn it, gonna need to put in an order for that. I haven't made that order yet but I will. Annoyingly with this one, because it's an opaque bottle, you can't see when you're gonna use it up. And I've tried everything. I've pulled the top off, I've like dug inside, I've used up every single last bit of this. It's great, it's the Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel and I love it. It's basically just the only cleanser I've used probably since the beginning of the year. I just really like it and I like that it's in a pump. You don't have to get your fingers in and scoop anything out. Very easy to use and my skin loves it. Another thing from Oskia and this is their Renaissance Mask. Really like this, would definitely repurchase it. It reminds me a lot of the Ren Glycolactic Mask but maybe slightly more gentle on the skin. It does its thing, it exfoliates without leaving your skin feeling really aggravated afterwards it just does it in a very nice, gentle, subtle way. Really enjoyed using this. Two things from Omravitska, the Illuminating Moisturiser and the Rejuvenating Night Cream. These are both things that I picked up as part of a travel range as well. I just love travel ranges because they're so good at just being able to sample like maybe a really pricey range at not a too pricey price tag. How many times did I say price right then? I just kept taking them away with me when I was travelling. The Illuminating Moisturiser I liked, didn't love. The Rejuvenating Night Cream, really, really enjoyed. It's ridiculously pricey to buy full size. It's just very rich and you need such a small amount, like less than half a squirt to do your whole face and it just left my skin feeling really nourished and not in need of any other moisture from an oil or anything like that. And annoyingly, Mark picked up on this when we were away last and thought that it was a hand cream. So, pretty upset about that. <laughs> A final skincare empty and it's from Sarah Chapman and it is their Intense Hydrating Booster. Love, love, love this stuff. I've actually already picked up another one. In terms of serums, I like using this one, the exfoliating one when my skin is feeling particularly like bobbly or a bit gross, and then the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I tend to use that in the evening, this during the day, and it just sinks into skin. Oh man, you need to try it. Go into a Space NK and just feel this on your skin and it just feels so soft and silky and it just goes in so nicely and can you tell that I really liked it? <laughs> then I'm going to wrap it up with three makeup bits that I used up till the very end. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in the shade 6. I've had this for a very long time. I've had it a lot longer than the 12 month expiry date <laughs> that it says on the bottom. I picked this up when I was having a seriously tanned moment and so in the recent year or so I've had to mix it with the shade 4 to create a good match for me. Normally on camera you're probably seeing me wear a 5. It's evening out at a 5. I used to use a blob of the 4 and a blob of the 6. But it's gone. It doesn't look gone but I assure you there is nothing in there. A tip for people who are using this up, take out the pump and then just go like that like it's a bottle of ketchup and you'll find that there's a lot still in the bottom that you can just decant in to a little pot. Then a mascara and it's the L'Oreal Telescopic Waterproof Mascara which annoyingly has been discontinued and annoyingly continues to be my favourite mascara basically ever. I got it on my eyelashes today because when I realised it was being discontinued I picked up a fair few backups but very sad to see one go. It's just like a countdown. I'll be very sad when I come to the last one. And then finally I have this from Clinique and it is their Repair Wear Intensive Lip Treatment. Completely gone. Loved this. This was like by Terry Bomb de Rose in a tube. Very sad to see it go. I, I probably can get tiny bit more out if I stick my finger in it. It was really nice, very moisturising on the lips, but very soft, not greasy feeling, but not sticky. 
I pick that one up again. So there you have it, beauty products I have used up in recent months. It's very comforting to know that I'm actually working my way through my slightly ridiculous stash. But I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you're having a lovely week and I'll see you back here on Sunday. Bye.